Uh, good afternoon, Monkey Man here. Um, just doing an update for my Growing Together page. Uh, this is my first bit of progress for my garden this year. Uh, as you all know, the weather's been awful, so this really should have been a wee bit sooner. But we do what we can. So I've got a, just a propagator, cheap plastic propagator, three, four pound. Um, and inside I've got coconut husk plugs. There you go, you get them as wee discs and you hydrate them, they puff up and then you plant your seeds in. This is cayenne pepper, I planted them about two weeks ago um, and they sprouted about a week ago and they're, they're making progress each day so it's all good. Cayenne peppers, um, plant them now, they should sprout really well. Uh, threw a couple of extra ones in there, just randomly, hasn't worked out too great but Start a couple of extra plants. So, <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll show you the process of how I planted these. Um, I've got another propagator sitting there. So, um, I'll get you back in a couple of minutes and I'll show you that. Okay, cheers. So, uh, this is in the kitchen. Just got a wee area here where I do my potting and I um, mess about the like wee projects and stuff. So what you'll need for planting, in my opinion, is you need a propagator. This one's a wee bit more solid than the, the black one I showed you. There's the bottom, there's the top. Now I got these for B and Q, they come separate. Uh, they come separate and that's like three pounds, that's like one fifty, so four fifty. The good thing about this one is it's got a wee vent on the top so you can close it to get the benefit and then if it steams up or it to stop things getting mouldy and um, condensated you can open this just a wee bit just to um, manage the environment inside the, the propagator. So there you go, bought me a propagator, top of a propagator of some kind, either the cheap black one or pay a pound or two more and get you know, what an actual like good wee individual setup. Um in here I've got a wee bit of hydrophilic felt mat and it just um, distributes moisture. So that when that's filled you can just fill that tray with water and your wee plugs will soak up what they need. Um the next thing you'll need is these wee plugs here. Uh, they're called growing pockets actually and um, they're a uh, coconut husk and you get them in bean q again a couple of pounds so if you're a propagator say three pounds one fifty is four fifty three pounds for them seven fifty two pounds for your seeds nine fifty so for a tenner you've got a propagator a planting medium and a pack of seeds now this is reusable and it's an investment so you're buying it once you know, you can, I've got two or three there, so I can have one type of thing in this one, different type in the other, different type in the other, etc. Um, so, not too expensive and worth the money. It will help your seeds come on a lot better and a lot quicker, which means you can get them planted out early. Um, so, we'll take our wee plugs, pockets, whatever you want to call them. Open them up. There we go. Right, take them, lay them out in here um, quite evenly. You know, and they can be close at this stage because until the seeds actually sprout. I'm not actually going to get a lot of space and I'm not going to need to be um, there's not going to need to be much space left between them so lay them out and you'll see there's a side where there's a depression on each side one's small, one's quite large you want the large depression facing upwards right, so do the rest of these for you. 
Mm -hmm. If you give me a minute and I'll fill that up. Uh, so here we are and we've got that uh, filled up. You know, we've covered all the space there, we've got as many in as we need. You can have less or you can squeeze in more, it's entirely up to you. Uh, so you get a wee jug full of water, cup, whatever, and you just put an inch or so. If you put too much, they'll start floating away. So put about an inch of water and um, leave them for a few minutes and they'll expand. You can see them expanding already. But um, well it's kind of boring so give me five more minutes and we'll come back to them and we'll see what they're like once they've expanded. Okay, cheers. Okay guys, so we've given it a few minutes. Um, surprisingly these went quite quickly so there you go. Um, that's them fully expanded them more. They're about three, four times the size they were. Um, height wise at least. So all you need to do now, look, you can see your wee divots in the middle. A couple of them are deformed but they'll do fine. What you do now, take your seeds. Take your seeds. And just pop one in. Right into the wee divots. Right. One seed. Pair plug. Dropped. Try and get it right in the centre so it drops down in there. Um, and all I'm doing, I've got tomatoes for this one, and I'm just going to do them all tomatoes. Uh, last year, planted like half of that tomatoes and half peppers, and some of them didn't turn out. Some of the ones that turned out. And they grow very well, and uh, the bugs ate a few, so it wasn't that successful. So this year, I'll be planting far more than I plan to use uh, to account for poor quality seeds that don't germinate, bugs eating them. Um, bad weather, just all sorts of stuff to account for all that. It means if you lose even a lot, you should still have plenty left over. Right, now I've got a seed in each wee hole, I'm just going to get a wee popped in with a pencil. Pen old twig, anything you like really, but something that's not going to be so big that it destroys the plug. Now, there's plenty of water in there. Oh, you can see that mat's soaked, the plugs are soaked. So, you're not going to need to water that for, say, at least a week. And what I've done is, I've taken the sticker off the top of this propagator, um, just to let in maximum amount of light, and to make sure, mean the vent that's unobstructed, um, so you can get the proper use of it. So, now they've been prodded down, all you're doing is stick the lid on your propagator. For now, I want to close the vent, keep that humid and damp and good for germinating. So, um, all that's left to do now is stick it on your windowsill. Boom! And wait, like I say, it's about a week or so, and you'll get them popping up and you'll have some tomatoes started. Right, well, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll have some more garden updates soon, amongst other things. Take care. Bye.